All right. What's happening, guys? We're back. We're back. Um, <laughs> Gil's back on the podcast. So we got some topics. We're going to go over Godzilla minus one. <clears throat> we both saw that. Yeah. Godzilla X Kong, the new empire. The Killer with Michael Fassbender. We both saw that. Yeah. Uh, Marvel's Downfall. <laughs> Deadpool 3. And Robert Downey Jr. Like, should he return to Marvel or not? So, all right, dude. So, <clears throat> I guess we could start with Godzilla minus one. Um, I saw it before you. It was only out for like a week. And I'm not sure like if it was on your radar or not. But I know like I brought it up to you. Did, was I it, the one that put it on your radar? I, I saw the trailer for it. <clears throat> okay. and then um And then you brought it up to me. I think it was like within... <laughs> Seconds, honest to God, because it it always ha- it always happens that way, where I'll see something, and um, like within seconds or like uh, like minutes or whatever, you you reach out to me like, yo, did you see this? And it's sometimes it's vice versa, but that's that's how I th- that went down. So you you saw the trailer, and then like I text you like a little bit yeah, after. Yeah, it was like the same day, and I remember that um. I, I I always get like my um, focus glued real quick, especially when I'm interested in it. Mm-hmm. And the the trailer to, to it was like phenomenal. Mm-hmm. It was just it just it stopped. I stopped what I was doing and I had to pay attention to it. Mm-hmm. You know, so it was it was awesome. <laughs> By the way, like we're gonna have spoilers on the movie, so yep. if you haven't seen it. And spoilers for Godzilla X Con because uh, X Con. Oh shit, <laughs> Godzilla X Con. We're gonna have spoilers for that because we both saw that VIP. You know, we got these connects. Yeah. No, we didn't. Um, <laughs> but there are gonna be spoilers for Godzilla minus one. Yeah. So, uh, Godzilla on the back of the boat because yeah. you call him Godzilla, Godzilla, something like that. Yeah. It means like ape whale or monkey oh, wow. whale in Japanese. Wow, see, I, didn't, I didn't know that, but um, that was frightening. So Yeah, dude. So I don't remember if I text you after I saw it or, or if I told you, no, I was telling you that I was going to go see yeah. it. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> and I got my tickets for it. Yeah. And um, it was awesome, bro. Like, like the way that I took it, I felt like it had like um, Jaws vibes and ah. we talked about it like, yeah. you know, off, off mic. Yeah. Um. And like that one scene again. Spoilers. Spoilers. Yeah. The one scene where they had the bomb in his mouth. That's dude. That's Jaws. Yeah. Remember when Jaws had yeah. the tank and he was like, "You son of a bitch!" And he yeah. like, yeah, <clears> yeah. <throat> they blew this dude's half of his face off. Yeah. And you know we both called Godzilla G one thousand. Yeah. I think you yeah. called him yeah, the yeah. G one thousand. Yeah, I did. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Terminator T one thousand. So like yep. the T one thousand, how you could heal. Mm-hmm. And um. <laughs> I told you like certain scenes like made my jaw drop and like that was one of the ones and like the people in the theater like I wasn't the only one like there was like they gasped dude they were like <gasps> like yeah. like I was like oh shit what the fuck like this yeah. dude can heal like that yeah. cause it looked like he was I, dead yeah it looks like he was dead <clears throat> and then in my head I'm like yeah but what's gonna go on for the rest of the movie like you know what I mean like it was oh it was too good to be true is what I'm I was trying to say like he hit him with a with just a little dozer he took like a like a quick nap and and his face healed back together and it, yeah. it was it was pretty much it. <clears throat> I thought the effects looked pretty good too yeah. like when his face healed um it didn't look like the the movie like there were some parts that I mean, it didn't look like super expensive. Yeah, it looked yeah. like, but it looked good. Yeah, it did. It, it didn't. <clears throat> it didn't look bad at all. No, it, yeah, it, it didn't. Look, did not look bad. No, it didn't. And <sighs> and like we were talking about this, like so, the movie cost fifteen million dollars yeah. to make. Yep. And these Hollywood American movies, like they cost so much because like the actors like eat up so much of the budget. Uh-huh. So you got to pay this person 10 yeah. million. You got to yeah. pay this person 20, like 5 million. And yeah. like it inflates the budget. But um, these Japanese actors, like I didn't know them. I, I don't know if they're popular, but yeah. the movie only cost $15 million. And with $15 million, they, they made that movie. They, yeah. That they, shit puts like yeah. Marvel to shame. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they made a good, good movie. That's yeah. basically what they did. And it, 
And, and I, I feel as though Marvel and DC have, have a lot to learn from it. And, yeah. and any other um, movie production. Co- company, whatever. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. I, yeah. I'm going to say, like, that was one of the best movies of 2023. I, I would have to agree. I would have you to know, agree. You know, like, what what else stood out in 2023? Like, I'm trying to think what I saw. I mean, I, I saw the <clears throat> Mission Impossible, which was pretty good. Still, <laughs> I didn't get to see that yet. Yeah, but, but still, this one, I think it's like up there mm, it's okay. up there in my book where i'm like wow what you know? would you rate mission impossible one to ten is it worth one it to, to ten to, see? to me since i don't know i call me biased but tom cruise is my dude mm-hmm. i would have to say like a solid four and, and oh out of five yeah out of five yep oh, okay yeah it, like a good. solid four because um just the simple fact that he does all his stunts and he grinds, the mm-hmm. man grinds. There's no bullshit with him. It's him, you know? So mm-hmm. a lot of people, I don't understand the hate he gets, but, you know, I'm a fan. I, I love the dude and more power to him. If he needs, if he wants to do 10 more, he can. And more power to him, you know? He's like, he's 60, right? Yeah. Didn't he hit 60? Same yeah. as Keanu. They're like right around yeah. the same age. Yeah. Dang. Um. Yeah, bro. Tom Cruise is the man. Uh, not to go like on a total a separate tangent, but yeah. um, he gets hate because you know what the Scientology stuff and mm-hmm. and when he was all jumping on the couch on the Oprah show. Yeah, <laughs> he's and, not living that down. No, nah, people. <laughs> I mean, yeah. you know, that's the public, bro. Like yeah. they just yeah. hold on to stuff and. And just people like to criticize behind mm-hmm. a keyboard. You know what I mean? Like, <clears throat> yeah, you, you're absolutely right. Give, I mean, give respect and credit where credit is due. This man's been around since the '80s, mm-hmm. still relevant, still yeah. making hits. Yeah, come on, man. I st- I would still rather watch one of his <clears throat> movies than The Rock Johnsons, mm-hmm. straight up. Like, because I know. It's going to be quality. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's just my personal opinion. I give you that, bro. Like, yeah. Tom Cruise definitely makes better movies than yep. uh, than uh, Dwayne Johnson. But I wasn't mad at Black Adam. I, Black Adam was like... I thought it was fun. <clears throat> it was I okay. It was I thought yeah. Hulkman was pretty dope. Um, what else I like of The Rock? Uh, I know we're all over the place. Yeah. But um, <laughs> San Andreas was trash. I didn't yeah. like it. Um... Damn, damn. Uh, the rundown, it was fun. I like that one because I thought <clears throat> yeah. it was like a modern day. Well, at that time, it was a modern day, like uh, 24 hours with Eddie Murphy and, <sighs> mm. and uh, oh, 48, or was it 48, 48 hours. hours? My bad. <clears throat> um, Eddie Murphy and, and uh, Nick, well, Nolte. Nick Nolte, which was mm-hmm. a classic too. Mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, I thought it was a modern day and they, you know, the different dynamics <clears throat> um, Dwayne had and I forget the other guy's name. He comes out in all the American pie movies but i know you're talking yeah about, but yeah. um i thought it was it was good it was fun <clears throat> to watch and uh yeah and that's where um homeboy from ninja turtles came out oh uh, yeah. ernie reyes jr yeah yeah he was wrecked yeah too. he was <laughs> still ripped. i think the dude was like 40 years yeah. old in that movie <laughs> yeah he was good yeah he got sick man he had yeah. um kidney uh like a kidney transplant and yeah. like kidney failure and stuff like that. I think he's all right right now. Yeah, I, th- I think I, if I'm not mistaken, he'll be well, I don't know if it was this last year's um, Comic Con in Rhode Island. He oh, was. shit. Yeah, it was like the whole cast of like um, Ninja Turtles. <clears throat> oh, that's pretty so, cool. So, yeah, so I think it was, it was, he I would was love there. to meet Casey Jones. Yeah, me too. Uh, I think me his too. name is like Elias Cotillas or something like that. So, something like that. Yeah. Um, but anyway, where were you? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so The Rock. So I also like Faster. Um, Doom. Doom is like a guilty pleasure. It kind of sucks. Yeah. But, you know, I thought yeah. The Rock was fun in that. <clears throat> but back to Godzilla Minus One. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was super well done, man. We we were like joking. Um, <laughs> the way this dude was like destroying buildings. Like, yeah. it's like he was digging in some birthday cake. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah, he was. <laughs> It was hilarious. He was, he was just like really digging yeah. in them buildings, yep. ripping them up. He was bad. Like he yeah. was having fun. Yep. You know, when you yeah. bit the train and like yeah. shook it. Yeah. <laughs> I um I, I took it as like he was just like curious. You know what I mean? Like mm. as far as like. Like just, a cat with a toy. Yeah. Yeah. Like going. I don't think he meant harm, but they pissed him off. So mm-hmm. therefore he was like, you want that smoke? Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> he gave him that smoke. 
<clears throat> so but that's how I saw it, but I could be wrong. Mm-hmm. So, but yeah, yeah, that's true. He was yeah. like, he was like a big cat, yeah, like playing with a <laughs> with like a bell or something, yeah, yep. <clears throat> but his um his atomic breath, yeah, bro, like <clears throat> his atomic blast breath, whatever, like yeah. the the new design with that like the way they did it it, mm-hmm. it was it was a cool take because in the old movies it was like a ray it was like yeah. a steam or yeah. like a ray and it would like fry things up mm-hmm. but in this movie it was like a it was like a nuclear bomb yeah that, like that shit didn't even have to hit you it can miss you and the dra- boom the, yeah. the draft will like kill you yeah bro okay <clears throat> hold on a second I, okay I know the japanese chick yeah she should have been jelly. Yeah. Give yeah. me a break. Give me yeah. a break. She flew backwards like so yeah. fast. Yeah. And then you saw like everything got sucked back. Yeah. How are you going to live through that? I thought that was just for the story. <clears throat> and also like she could have she she could have dodged into the alley with homeboy too. Mm-hmm. Oh, she, yeah. She pushed Why did him. she push him? Yeah, she pushed him and it was like, I didn't get that part. I was like, they is is the whole Titanic theory all mm-hmm. over again. Like, you know what I mean? Like he he could have got on that board too. Like it was just more for like movie, you know, story. Just dr- drama. Yeah, right, so. just drama. Like she really loved him. Bro, you know did, what I mean? did you feel bad the way he was treating her throughout the movie? No, not really. I, I, yeah. I wasn't feeling bad because I think he had a lot of guilt for not accomplishing what he was assigned Doing for the yeah, kamikaze yeah, mission. Yeah, he didn't basically he was a coward and he kind of knew it. <clears> so <throat> I, I, I feel like he didn't deserve happiness. So he didn't want to mm. allow that in his life. He, you know, he was just I think he wanted to live the rest of his life as, as a coward alone. He mm. didn't want to, you know, be with them. You yeah. know what I mean? Like he wasn't deserving. Yeah. Like you said, yep. that's a good take because yep. I didn't even, I didn't even think of that. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. You, you know, um, <laughs> Excuse me. They, they're big on honor and um, he was just, his his neighbor that lost all her family mm. basically called him, a, a, you know, a coward. The crazy lady. Yeah. Right? The crazy lady that lost all her kids <clears throat> due to the bombings or whatever. And, you know, and yeah, yeah I, I, that's how I took it. Like he was just. Like self punishing himself, you know, mm. he wasn't deserving of happiness. You know, I think you're on point with that, bro. Like, yeah. that's a really good take. Um, he was treating her. I wouldn't say like a side chick. Yeah, he, because he wasn't even. He wasn't. He, even he was smashing. just. He was, bro. Yeah. He basically. Let me not even go there. Let me not even go there. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna cancel this podcast. He. I was gonna say something silly. Um. But he was treating her like, you know, them dudes that like, they'll, they'll like live with a chick for like 10 years and not yeah. married them. And, yeah. and like, you know, the, the government who had to make you get married. Yeah. It's yeah. like, I forgot what they call it, but you with someone a certain amount of time. Yeah. You're like, you're basically like married That's, yeah. legally, like mm-hmm. from living together. But this dude was not trying to ring it. No. <laughs> he was not trying to ring it. Nope. You know, I felt bad for her in the movie, but I, I felt bad for the little the little girl because the little girl straight up called him daddy, and I'm those might have been her first words as she he was like, no, I'm not your daddy. Like he, yeah, that was terrible. She, he straight up told the little like girl, like the, you know, I'm not I'm not your dad. So yeah. get it out of your mind. I'm not your dad. I was like, damn, that's what I would have did. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was messed up when um she was in the kitchen and yeah. he was talking to his boys yeah. at the table and they're like, What you know, why don't yeah. you you know your wife, your family? He's like, No, like yeah. that's not my wife and yeah. that was messed up. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> but, I just, um, <clears throat> yeah, I just think that he didn't he didn't deserve it because he didn't fulfill his job, you know. So Dude, what'd you think of um Godzilla's like look? Like cause he looked a little different than um you know, like the legendary mm-hmm. Godzilla right now with yeah. Kong. Yeah. He looked a little different. Did he, you you like the way he looked? Yeah, I did. He looked realistic. He, he looked right? realistic and menacing. Yeah. Like he was scary looking <clears throat> like his arms are like yeah, a little longer. Yeah. He had like a like a like a chest plate, like like scales or something yeah. in the front. Yep. He had them uh Yokozuna thighs though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. He, but they would look strong like y- Yokozuna. Like he did some damage. You didn't think he had yeah. like a Michael Myers walk? Yeah. Because his yeah. arms are like super stiff, and he was yeah. like, <laughs> he was, he was like I like I told you, he before. looked a little, he looked a little on the spectrum, yeah. bro. Like he was just like, 
<laughs> but um, he was, he was walking yeah, yeah. through through uh, through town like he was at the market looking for apples and shit. Like yeah, like nonchalant. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Um, so the design you liked, I liked mm-hmm. the design too. Um, what else? What else? What was your favorite scene in the movie? I think my favorite scene was when he was. <laughs> First of all, when he ragged the train like it was a toy Mm -hmm. and when the tanks like started blasting him Mm -hmm. and he like like flared up with his rays. Yeah. And gave him that smoke. I was like, I that was sort of a jaw dropping moment for me. Mm -hmm. I was like, when the little spikes came up, yeah, it was like charging up. That's a cool take when the little like Mm -hmm. scales like spikes go up. Yeah. (laughs) It was like cocking a gun. on Yes. Uh, uh, one of fun, the funniest part for me, n- not the funniest, but it was funny, is when the reporters were on the top of the building mm-hmm. reporting everything <laughs> for no reason because mm-hmm. they went down with the building. But that that part to me was pretty <clears throat> funny. Mm-hmm. They were like reporting every step by step. Oh my God, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. Mm-hmm. And then the, he knocked the building with, I think, his shoulder or something. Mm-hmm. It wasn't even that drastic. And they, <laughs> they went down. I don't remember if the they building. died or not. Oh, see, yeah. I, I don't, don't remember. remember. I, I just, remember they slid down, but I don't remember if they yeah, I, I, To me, it was like safe, <laughs> safe to assume that they died. One thing that I didn't understand, like people died, like he crushed them, mm-hmm. um, but like it wasn't gory. They didn't show like gore. Yeah. Um, but like, I feel like in the beginning, like he was biting dudes and tossing yeah, them. That I, was I'm, very... I'm like, wait a minute. Like he's a yeah. big lizard dinosaur. You would yeah. eat them. Yeah. Like he would bite them in half and yeah. like eat them. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know, maybe he feeds this off of radiation and like other, mm. other like Titans or, you know, but I don't yeah. think they call them Titans in this one. Cause it's like a different uh, yeah. company that, you know, Toho, but, um, I found that weird. I was like, yeah. mm, I was like, you just throwing them? Like, yeah. Yeah, he, I, that was that like was I feel odd. like he would have ate them. Yeah, that was odd to me too. Cause and and then like <laughs> and and half like it was two right that he did. It was two of them. Yeah, yeah. And, and then that right there was like I was skeptical of the movie because uh-huh. it was in the beginning. I said, "Oh boy, here we go. Yeah. A friendly Godzilla that doesn't bite people yeah. in half or kill yeah. them." I was like, well, you know, but they did a good job. Yeah, they did. I think it was um PG thirteen. I'm not sure though. I don't think it was rated R because mm. I didn't see anything um that was like gory or. Mm-hmm. But so, the tanks. That's mm-hmm. what you like. Um, I like the boat chase. I feel like that, that was like a lot of suspense. Yeah, that that was. Um, <clears throat> I had anxiety at that one point because, mm-hmm. you know, granted they they're. To me, that the pilot was the main character, and I wasn't, I wasn't, I didn't know he was gonna die at that moment. You know what I mean? When he was chasing him in the water, yeah. So I didn't know. I was like, oh my god, he's just, he's gonna eat them up, yeah. You know. And then the big ships came and kind of like saved them, but they died instead. Well, that was another one of my favorite scenes. Yeah. Um, when. <laughs> There, he was like on top of the boat. I think I don't remember like if he was charging up to blast them, but he yeah. like he like got up. <clears throat> he was gonna do something to that yeah. little boat, <laughs> and then the 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 destroyer cannons hit him. It was like boom, 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 and like knocked him sideways. Yeah. I thought that was cool. Yep. And then he charges so fast. I said, "Oh, they're done." Yeah, he regenerates. I mean, and like yeah. I'm like, "Oh, they just stunned this dude." Mm-hmm. And he just ripped that thing up. Yeah, he punished that. He oh, punished man. that ship. He tore it up. Yeah. And um, but they got like a good last couple of shots mm-hmm. in. And you know, it I didn't think it killed them, but like you definitely it was super close range, so you know, like hurt yeah. them like like yeah. quite a bit. But um that part was cool. Um <clears throat> what did you think about the their plan? Like to 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 basically um put, like drown them and have the the water pressure crush them. And then, uh, I think it's called decompression. Like, mm-hmm. if you go up too quick, like, your blood boils or something uh-huh. like that. But um, did you think it was going to work? No. I, I, I straight up didn't think because at that part, like I said, they had, like, no hope. Yeah. I mean, the dude ate through a battleship. Mm-hmm. He, he blazed up a couple of tanks. Like, yeah, they had no hope. And I mean, like, it was a wild <clears throat> shot and stuff like that, but... Didn't he? Didn't he bite through through the wires too, like the bedding? I think that, he did. Yeah, and then he came back. He was, but it did work for a little bit mm-hmm. because he was like, 
you know, he was. I think he was recuperating and then hulking up at the same time. Yeah, yeah. he was. He was gonna serve him up something nice. I you think know? he did get crushed for a tight second yeah. because he was charged up. Yeah, and the lights went out. It went like. Oh. Do you remember like like he, oh yeah yeah his spikes were lit and he was about to shoot up and like it he kept sinking and then it went oh. it made like a noise and his lights went out yeah so I was like I was like oh man he got crushed a little bit um <clears throat> and then they tried to pull him up and I guess he like stopped it or something mm-hmm. and then the tugboats came <clears throat> that was pretty funny though at the end. When um the the guy tried to redeem himself, oh, and I called the 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 ejection seat. I knew oh, okay. I knew that that wasn't happening. Right. I didn't know. Yeah, I totally saw that. He was like in one more thing because I was reading the thing. He goes in one more thing to the pilot. I was like, oh, uh, he, there's an ejection. Yeah, I, I, I fucking knew it. Um, but yeah, the plane got caught in his mouth, and then with the with the atomic blast, it just overloaded, just blew his head yeah, head yeah. off. I, I didn't think that killed him either. I was yeah. like, nah, this dude's going to come back. I, I thought it was... But when he crumbled, though, like a cookie, I was yeah. like, I was like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, his head his head popped like... You remember back in the day, uh, you ever get those popcorn in a pop in a, in a thing? Mm-hmm. And then you stir them over the stove and they, they the blew up? The aluminum pops, yeah. yeah. That's, how it, <laughs> that's how I saw it pop. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I thought it was... My, the part that I thought was dope was when they saluted him. Mm-hmm. I was like, damn, like, yeah, he put up cool. a fight, though. He did. <clears throat> yeah. But the joke's on them. <laughs> well, di- didn't it look funny when he was in the water and he started bubbling back? Yeah. He said it reminded you of, like, gremlins, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, when you wet the gremlin. <clears throat> mm-hmm. uh, um, gizmo, and he starts um, spewing out spawn <laughs> gremlins. So, they're talking about, like, part two or something like that, because uh, apparently, like, apparently is like, a big success. Yeah. And, um, oh, hell yeah. Yeah, they might do, like, a part I, two. I'll so. be down, and I don't think they'll mess it up either. No, with a part two, um, I, I, w- I don't want to see him against the military anymore. Mm-hmm. I want to see, like, their take on another monster. Yeah, yeah. You know, like... um. Uh, I forgot what his name is. It's a turtle. He got spikes on his back uh-huh. and and Guerus or something. Uh, maybe like their take on Rodan or something mm. like that. Oh, Rodan. That'd be cool. Yeah, he's Rodan, one of the coolest. Yeah, Rodan. Yeah, it's one of my favorites yeah, from he's uh, awesome. uh, King of Monsters. Yeah, yeah, that's one of my favorites. Yeah, Rodan is the, the jam. Yeah. But um, <clears throat> overall, like I loved it. You mm-hmm. loved it. I thought it was worth a movie ticket. Mm-hmm. Um for those of you guys who missed it, damn, you missed out because uh <clears throat> that was like I was on a mission to see it in the theater. I was like, man, I gotta see this yeah. shit in the theater. You know, and you got to see it yeah. too. Yeah, so, so I think like two days after you. <clears throat> I mean, I, I wanted it and then when you told me it was like gonna be uh in the theaters for like a week, I was like, mm-hmm. Yeah, I definitely gotta get in there. And the the thing about it was that the tickets were selling out. Yeah, they, they weren't like you know you you go to a new release and you have like your your pick of good seats. Mm-hmm. But this one was like you know it, it, the good seats like went quick. Mm-hmm. You know, yeah the the one that I went to um it was pretty full. It wasn't okay. it wasn't empty. Yeah. It was like a good amount of people. I want to say like jam packed, but yeah. it was definitely um people in there. Yeah. But I think it started selling more tickets, like, when, like, word of mouth, like, mm. people were saying, like, oh, it's, like, really good. After, like, a couple of days, it was out. Yeah. But, um, yeah, it was great, man. So, so Godzilla X-Kong, the... <laughs> it, keeps on, it keeps sounding like I'm saying X-Kong. <laughs> Godzilla X-Kong, yeah. um, the new empire, how does that look to you? That looks like a lot of fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, Godzilla got this new... Uh, color ray it's mm-hmm. like a like a, a dope purple like a magenta yeah. or something or purple yeah and uh, <clears throat> i'm excited for it mm-hmm. i think it's gonna be better than um godzilla versus kong mm-hmm. only because um i think it's gonna be more monsters or whatever they because it seems like they're teaming up so mm-hmm. i think there there's it's gonna be more battle scenes and more and, and less uh, you know human mm-hmm. story you know so yeah you're not a bit you just want to see like more monsters yeah stuff. yeah i mean uh godzilla minus one was awesome because um it, it they the storyline was good i like storytelling but i felt like in 
in Godzilla. 2014, the yeah. first one. Yeah, it was it so was, dragged yeah, out. Yeah, it was dragged out. It was dragged out. It was so dragged out. Yeah, they made it too much about the humans and, you know. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. I mean, it's Godzilla. It's a giant monster. Let's. I want to see more Godzilla. Yeah, you know? it, it seems like they fixed it though. Like in um, King of, King of the Monsters, like yeah. King of the Monsters. They, yeah, yeah. You know, they put more action yeah. with the monsters. That was, that was incredible too. Yeah, we saw that in a theater. Yeah, yep. That was an experience. Yeah, that was. That was. <clears throat> we talked about a, it before, but the yeah. the one jaw drop moment for me was Rodan coming Meets, out the mine volcano. Too. Yeah. Like that yeah, was you, fire, dude! I was just like stunned, badass. like yeah. And and then when the jets was trying to take take him down, yeah. I may have to watch that later. Yeah, that was he was smacking the yeah. jets with his wings and like doing all these maneuvers. Yeah. It was so badass. They it, called him Big Bird, yeah, because <laughs> they already knew of him. They're like yeah. Big Bird, whatever, yeah. like has emerged. <clears throat> I want to see more Rodan, dude. What if Rodan makes an appearance in this one to help out? I'm for it. That'd I'm for dope. it. Yeah, but. It looks good, man. Um, I just hope they don't make it too um too hokey. Yeah. Cause they dude, dude, that <laughs> one part, they look like a like a wrestling tag team. Ah, uh, yeah. You know, they, coming down the <laughs> Yeah, both running together like yeah. to the ring, to the ramp. <laughs> yeah. It was it looks cool. Yeah. But I just hope it don't get too stupid. Yeah, yeah. You know? <clears throat> now now, okay. If if they were a wrestling tag team, who would they be? Like one that existed yeah. or like... Or a, yeah, and is ex- existed. Uh, let me see. God's, uh, the Rockers. The Rockers? Yeah, they would be the Rockers. I, I would say the Steiner Brothers. <laughs> oh, okay. All right. The Steiner Brothers. <laughs> yeah. So who God, who's Scott Steiner? Godzilla. Godzilla. Godzilla, right. bro. <clears throat> and um, what, what was the other one? Rick. Yeah. Rick Rick, Rick would be Kong. R- Rick would be Kong. Dude, Kong got that... that Infinity Gauntlet yeah. <laughs> with no stones. That's to show you how bad <laughs> with no stones. Dude, he's so handicapped. Bro, he, he, what? Like, let's. Okay. Yeah. We're going to be like, we're going to hate on Kong right now. I love King bit. Kong. I love yeah. King Kong. But, but he, I want to say he's useless. But, okay, so he has his mind. He's intelligent. He can use mm. tools. I guess he could fight pretty good. Yeah. But. He's really handicapped mm-hmm. against a lot of those like mm-hmm. creatures. Like he don't have powers. You know, Godzilla. Mm-hmm. Look at look at everything Godzilla brings to the table. Yo, Godzilla is a, he's a he's a lethal weapon. He's a he's a dangerous weapon. Yeah. He's a unit. You know what I mean? Like like you said, claws. Uh, that uh, the atomic breath. Atomic breath. He got armor. Like you can't really mm-hmm. hurt him. <clears throat> Kong, uh, Kong is like you know, but he's cool. He's yeah. cool. I mean, but. It looks like in a trader, like they boys. He either, yeah. I mean, definitely they're definitely teamed up. But um, it looks like Kong, like either um, his hand got injured or uh, maybe Monarch the humans they made that that gauntlet for him so he oh, could okay. like kind of like. I think he got his ass whooped like yeah. earlier in the movie. Yeah, and yeah. since they follow and track them, yeah. you know, maybe his his hand got jacked up. And I think that the humans, like what they did in the last movie, because mm-hmm. he got wrapped up by that bat thing. Yeah. And they helped him. He was getting suffocated. Yeah, yeah he was getting <clears throat> he was getting choked yeah, out. Yeah, that was it for him. And yeah. they saved him. Yep. So I think that um he battled either the new ape um, or whatever creature, and he got his hand jacked up, or, or they just gave him like an upgrade, you know, mm-hmm. just to help him out. So, what do what do you think? What do you think is up with the gauntlet? I, I'm I'm gonna have to agree with you on that mm-hmm. part. Mm-hmm. You know, I think they <laughs> he said he got he got a broken arm and he he got <laughs> messed up, so they assisted him mm-hmm. like they did in Godzilla versus Kong. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I think he was <clears throat> assisted in like three out of. Well, like, yeah, it was basically all three fights, Mm -hmm. and Godzilla whooped his ass both two out of those, you know, three, Mm -hmm. I think. That's my, you know, but yeah. All right, I'm going to throw this theory out there, so I guess, I don't think this is spoiler because, like, people are talking about it, and then I think in this trailer or, like, the th- there was like mention of this one uh Titan in like one of the other movies, but basically it's I forgot the name of it, but it's like a big Godzilla type dragon that like freezes stuff oh, and like wow. freezes things. 
So they're they're saying there's like ideas or theories that <clears throat> it's not only the new orangutan and maybe he controls the 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 other like Godzilla type ice mm. the ice version. Um, for, I forgot the damn name of the thing, but um, I I think that. Because when you see Godzilla in the trailer, he's frozen in ice. Oh, and, yeah. Yeah. Um, people think that maybe he was hibernating. And mm. I think maybe he lost the fight. Uh. And he got frozen. And then, like, throughout a big chunk of the movie, he's evolving. Mm. And he busted out when he, like, adapted and, like, you know. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe maybe the whole time he was just hibernating since the last movie. And he came out, like, evolved and stuff. Mm-hmm. But... That's what I think. I, I may be wrong, though. I think Godzilla battled whatever ice creature, got frozen, and then later on in the movie, like, busts out, mm. like, more powerful. Um, but what what do you think about the big orangutan guy? Do you think he's uh, cool looking I, or... Yeah, I think he's menacing. I think he... Um... He's evil and he probably has a King crew. Louis. We're calling yeah. him King Louis. King from Louis the- from the Jungle Book. Yeah. Um, <laughs> evil King Louis. Yeah. <laughs> I think King Louis got got his <laughs> his uh, his crew, his clique, his gang. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So I think he's got, and he looks smart too. So, bro. Oh, actually, I think he has a real name. I don't know if it's Scar. Mm. It's something. <laughs> I think it's Scar. What we'll just call him, King Louis? Yeah. <clears throat> but did you see all the other Kongs? There was like part yeah, of his race. I saw, I saw, yeah. And they were just, it looked like they were like scared of him. Yeah. You know? Oh, wow. So is he like bigger than them or is he like beating the crap out of them? I don't know. <laughs> they introduced a baby, right? The, the baby yes, Kong? Yes, but the baby looks like King Louie. Ah. Uh, <clears throat> he looks red. He does. He looks red. So I don't think so, that's from the same species as Kong. Oh, wow. You know? <clears throat> Oh, but we'll crazy. see. We'll see. Yeah. Um, but any, any more on um, Godzilla X Kong? Like, do you have a nah, good vibe I, about it? I do. Good for I me? do. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I think it's um, it's going to be better than, <clears throat> you know, Kong uh, Godzilla versus Kong. The last I, one? Yeah. Mm. Me, um, I'm I, like, okay, so you're going to see it in the theater? Yeah. Yeah, I, I'll, like automatic. You're gonna. I'll have to see. I'll have to see. Um, cause um, if I see a trailer, cause I, I like to see the first trailer, and if the first trailer piques my my interest, then I'll probably won't see the rest <clears throat> of them and see it in the theater. Mm-hmm. Cause I don't, you know, I don't like to. I have my sources. Like you're one of my sources. Mm-hmm. I trust in your in your your um word. I'll go see it if you're like, yo, gee, you gotta, you know, but um. But yeah, I I have to wait to see the trailer, like mm-hmm. a full blown. I mean, another trailer. <clears throat> yeah, because yeah. I was only like a teaser, right? Yeah, yeah. I I I hope they don't give too much because yeah, these yeah. trailers, man. Yeah, they they yeah, they <clears throat> they'll give it. the whole movie. And if you notice, yeah. if the movie's trash, they'll give. They just give you everything yeah. to trick you to go see it. Yeah, and that's all they have. They're yeah. like, oh, yeah. <laughs> hence <know>? the Flash. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah. The Fla- well, speaking yeah, of the like, Flash, we, we were we were saying that Godzilla um, minus one fifteen million dollars like yeah. puts that movie to shame. Mm-hmm. I think Flash costs like two hundred million, and it's like, pfft, it and it bad. was garbage. It was garbage. I look back. My not Michael Keaton. Nope. Not Michael Keaton. Not Michael at all. Keaton was awesome. <laughs> the Flash. He was the best part of the movie, man. Yeah. In general, the movie was yeah. pretty crap. Mm-hmm. And and they said that the the effects were on purpose. Oh, we made it like that because it's like another dimension or get out of here. Like it just looked like crap. Dimension ass because that shit was <clears throat> dumb. That looked, shit was. It looked, it looked bad. I did it, I did like Christopher Reeve Reeves cameo. Yeah. Like I thought that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> you know, but how anyway, about, so how about Nick Cage? <laughs> it was. I mean, it was. It was pretty cool. It was cool seeing him because I know, like, he was supposed to be like a Superman way back in the day. Yeah, yeah. And um, it, it almost happened. The movie almost happened. Yeah, yeah there's there's tests yeah. there's tests uh, footage of him like in the suit. Yeah. Um, but that went over a lot of people's heads. They didn't know that Nick Cage was like supposed yeah, to be yeah. Superman. So they're like, "What the?" Oh, they, that, they that made it worse it was for a people. Joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're like, "Why the hell they did this?" So it yeah. went over like a lot of heads. But yeah. I thought it was cool seeing them. Yeah. But with the Godzilla um, X Kong, um, <laughs> <laughs> Godzilla X Kong. Um, 
I'm gonna check it out. I'm yeah. definitely that's gonna be an automatic ticket for me. And um it looks it looks fun. I just hope they don't make it too goofy. Yeah. You know? <clears throat> All right, so the killer with Michael Fassbender, spoilers. Uh we don't have to spend a lot of time on this, but you liked it? I did. <laughs> Yeah, I did like it. Um, it was great storytelling. It wasn't action packed, but the parts that did have action were cool. <clears throat> mm-hmm. You know, um, that big scene, the Florida where, fight. Yeah, the Florida fight. Yeah, that yeah, was good. With the right I like head. him. I think he is. Um, he's very underrated. Fast uh, Yeah, yeah, he's and, amazing. Uh, I love. Yeah, him. I think he is. Uh, he's a master of his craft, mm-hmm. and. Uh, He's just overlooked a lot, you mm-hmm, know? Mm-hmm. Um, like you said before, he made a dope Magneto. Awesome Magneto. And, um, I love them. Yeah, like, he needs to come back to that, like, in this in, in the Marvel yes. Universe. Um, but I enjoyed it. Yeah, the only part that I didn't... Not that I didn't like it, but I feel like it needed, like, um, a little bit more uh, action. Yeah, especially the ending. I feel like the ending needed like one more like gun battle. Um, that that was like my only gripe, but oh, okay. it kind of reminded me of like like kind of like drive a little bit, mm. a little bit of equalizer energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? <clears throat> but I liked it. It was a good watch on Netflix. Yeah. You know? Yep. Yeah, definitely. If you're if you don't have any, because I don't know. It's it's just a bunch of crap out now, so you know mm-hmm. that was refreshing. To yeah, see. definitely, definitely a good movie. Um, mm-hmm. We could wrap this topic yeah. up quick, like mm-hmm. you know, get to the point. What's yeah. up with Marvel, bro? Like Marvel's downfall. Like yeah. the Marvels, you saw it. You, yeah, you didn't like it. I didn't like it. Lowest I, grossing. I did not in like the theater. It, yeah. it yeah. broke a record in a bad way. Yep. Yeah. They're just going like down. Mm-hmm. What's their problem? I with this movie, I <laughs> felt like it was supposed to. Be, it should have been a series on Disney Plus. Mm-hmm. If I, I'm, I'm totally honest, um, some of the effects were really cheesy. Um, the you know, and then the storyline. It was like, you know, uh, it, it, it was it's, it was exhausting. Like, first of all, the villain. Uh, this the the woman had like a bracelet and it was supposedly make her it made her powerful and then uh captain marvel had a hard time with her i'm like yo this chick fought thanos with the freaking gauntlet yeah with the gauntlet and he had gems and, yeah gems more than and, one gem yeah and and she handled them like a g <clears throat> mm-hmm. you know what i mean so like for for me for you to go to that and then you need assistance from two other girls with powers that were like it was like nobody cares uh, it, about it was them it either. was forced yeah it was forced yeah. um the miss marvel from the show i never <clears throat> bothered with the show she was super annoying to me i am yeah. it you looked know, corny man it was it was it just, just too much it was none of it was funny and then the thing that they were doing with nick fury's character it mm-hmm. it really bothered me like they're making him like soft that soft father ish type, you know, like no, Nick Fury is a G. Like he he assembled the Avengers. Yes. You know, so I, I, I'm seeing that and it's like it's too hokey. And then like and then not to spoil the movie or whatever, because I really don't care, but there's a whole like singing scene in it, like, and then she transformed her suit into like a princess. Mm-hmm. It was like, yeah, now now is another Disney princess. Even people online were like, we got another princess, and it was just like, dude, like, this is a Marvel movie or is it a Disney movie? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it was just like, it was really, ah, uh, you know, I I was on a cruise and I saw it for free, so that's why I saw it, and um. Yeah, I wasn't. <laughs> I was just really like whatever. Mm-hmm. I was. I, I was amped to see um, the beast in the in the end credit, mm-hmm. which you know I'm giving a, an, away another spoiler. The beast shows up, and I don't know who the other person was, but all I cared about was seeing Beast because you know the X Men are finally coming out in the MCU. So mm-hmm. you know. Yeah, I saw the Beast uh, and credit thing. I, I felt like they dropped the ball with that a little bit because yeah. the effects for him weren't on point. Yeah. It looked a little cartoony and it's kind of yeah. like, like you know, that's a big deal. Like, it's a new era for Marvel. Like, you're bringing in the X-Men. Yeah. 
how are you going to start off with like shitty effects for Beast? That's yeah. already like a bad start. It's like, mm-hmm. that's the effort you're going to put. You look mm-hmm. cartoony, mm-hmm. you know? <clears throat> but I don't really have interest in seeing it. I mm-hmm. mean, I may check it out at a complete boredom. Yeah. Um. But, <clears throat> but like, so, but what do you think is going on? Like, like overall with Marvel, like, like why are their movies I, like getting bad ratings? Why are they like failing? I think there's too many. What's that quote? There's a, there's too many bosses, not enough. I don't even know what I'm saying. There's a lot of there's a lot of ideas thrown at at a board, and everything is getting approved, and it just doesn't make any type of sense. Mm-hmm. And what what happens is you're making sh- a shit movie. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It doesn't make any sense. Um, your comedy department isn't funny. Um, you know, and then like it's just, and then they they're they're trying to set up the young Avengers, which Nobody who cares. the fuck Nobody cares about cares. that? Yeah, and it was just like you know, <clears throat> Miss that Miss Marvel, she was really irritating. You know, I found that I found her to be very irritating. She wasn't funny. It was forced. Cheesy, it was just right? like cheesy. It was really like. I, I I had to take deep breaths a lot throughout the movie. Her you know show I mean? lit like super. I bad. didn't even bother with it, and then like I had a friend <clears throat> that was like, "Oh, you know, um, you you need to see the show to understand." And I go, uh, "That's that's six hours that I'm gonna save myself life. because I know it was crap. Because there's nothing in the world that's going to make me like this movie. Trust me, I've 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 gotten movies where I've given them a second chance." And there's crap the second chance, you know what I mean? So it's mm-hmm. like this movie, it was it was just awful. And what what makes me crazy is that people actually think calling it a great film. Huh. And I <laughs> I think, man, that's gotta be one big pay nice paycheck for you even to say that. So yeah. it was just to me it was it was just it was bad. It was really bad. I definitely think some of those comments are bought and paid for. Yeah, you know, because yep. they <laughs> some of them make no sense. And like I know everybody's entitled to an opinion, yeah, but absolutely. Sometimes things are just garbage. Yeah. And you're like, what did you watch? Yeah. Like what do you what did you watch? Because yeah. it's not what I saw. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But so you think it's like too many like um executives mm-hmm. and people, you know, just all these ideas yeah. and you know, yeah, and, um, and it's it's something that you always say, and, and, and you know, don't try to reinvent the wheel. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because it's it's just really, it. I don't know. It was really bad. It was really bad. Mm-hmm. The enemies looked cheesy. Yeah. The whole storyline was weak. Um, how are you gonna fight the, again? How are you gonna fight Thanos and have a problem with this? This other like lord or whatever she was, she was like an understudy to to Ronan. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Ronan like was cool. Ronan was, he was cool, badass. and he was badass. Yeah, not your you not your apprentice. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, you know, it was just I don't know. It was it was bad to me, and uh, you know, I wasn't excited about anything. It was you know there was a scene with a couple of cats that was kind of funny, like with you know mutated cats with the something. mutated cats. It was kind of funny, and even that was really <clears throat> hokey. Mm-hmm. You know, like the extras from the movie. You know, it looked really cheesy, really like low budgeted, and that's why I said it should have been a show. Yeah. You know, yeah, but no. Yeah, man. Um, <clears throat> with me, what I think is going on with Marvel is um. Maybe a part of it is that, like, too many, you know, no direction. Because it seems like after Infinity War and Endgame, because they had, like, this nice, like, like plan and path mm-hmm. to Infinity War and Endgame. And all the movies had tie-ins. Yeah. It was, like, yep. a nice, neat. You get excited because you're like, oh, oh, yeah. that's coming. Yeah. Oh, that's coming. Oh, yep. look at that hint. And, and it, it, you know, it was, like, the climax of yeah. uh, Infinity War yep. and end game yeah and then it's like you know like after you like get off like you know you you <laughs> orgasm or whatever like like you know like you just immediately drop and you yeah. just want to go to sleep yeah it's like that it's like yeah. after yeah. infinity one end game you can only go down yeah yeah you know what i mean it's just yeah. like sex you can only go down yeah yeah and right after sex you're like <sighs> yeah yeah so you know, I think like they set the bar so high for Infinity War and Endgame, that, and it's yeah. like, how do you like, how do you top that? Yeah. 
And I think they tried to top it too quick mm-hmm. um, instead of like another like build up, like yeah. build up something, build up to something good, like yeah. worth like building up to. But they just they just feel like, oh, we got a hit and yeah. we're crushing it. And, you know, I mean, some of the movies were good, like Shang-Chi. I loved. Yeah. Oh, that was awesome. I thought that was awesome. Yeah. Um, I can't wait for part two when everybody come out with that. <clears throat> but I know I'm going on a rant, but another another problem with Marvel to me is trying to appease like too many groups and mm-hmm. fans mm-hmm. and make everybody happy. And it's like you're forcing you're forcing things that people don't want to see. And mm-hmm. like I'm not talking about necessarily like different races and mm-hmm. groups. I mean, yeah, give everybody a chance. I'm totally cool with that. Mm-hmm. But it seems like they're afraid to push the envelope. They're afraid to offend. Mm-hmm. They want to make everything cookie cutter. They mm-hmm. want to make everything like, so everybody agrees with yeah. it. It's yeah. like, where's the edge? Yeah. Where's, you know, uh, I don't know. I think that's part of the problem. Like yeah. trying to make everybody happy and, you know, forcing that. Yeah. And I'm I'm really afraid for Blade. I, I'm afraid that they're gonna <clears throat> make it butter wa- knife, water, yeah, yeah, water it down. <clears throat> and that's part of the problem, yeah. dude. Because Blade '98 version Blade was it was to me it was a masterpiece. And I, I'm not saying that because I'm like 41 and I went to see it in the theater when I was like 17, 18. I mean, it was it was fire. Yeah. It was dope, and it still holds up to this day. Yeah. Don't like you say. Don't reinvent the wheel. Yeah. Leave shit alone. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just it's it's not that hard. It really isn't that hard. Yeah. Blade. You know, it it, it went through like rewrites, and I think they fired writers. It's a hot mess. Yeah. They just yeah. had to like scrap it and just start over. Yeah. And the same thing with Daredevil. Like like Daredevil, I think they finished the new season and they just scrapped it all. Wow. Like they wiped it because I think it, Kevin Feige the. I think he's the head of Marvel. I'm not sure. Um, but uh <clears throat> I guess he I think he has something to do with it where he just he he just he got a sneak peek or saw what was going on. He's like, uh-huh. This is garbage. Yeah. This is complete garbage. Yeah. And um it's you know, it's sad, man. I think like I said, it's trying to um just water things mm-hmm. down, not to offend, not to have it edgy, mm-hmm. and taking the teeth out of things. Yeah, yeah. You know, look, look what happened with the last Thor. The last Thor was just uh, like that was that was unbearable, horrible. It, it was, it was really, it was, it was bad. That was bad. Mm-hmm. It was really bad. Like it was not funny. And then certain agendas are are shoved down your throat. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I respect all types of people. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'd say every race, creed, sexual. Thing, but when it's shoved down your throat, you kind of get like, like sick of it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, <clears throat> yeah, man, it's just it's just pushing things and um, damn, what the hell else I was gonna say? Um, crap, crap, crap. We we're just talking about Thor. Um, anyway, but the next Thor that they're coming out with, like Chris Hemsworth, I guess he's on board, but they're gonna make it a lot more serious. Yeah, you know? I, I, yeah, I heard that was gonna be uh, darker, like a darker. Yeah, and then the thing is too, like they wasted Christian Bale. Yeah, we talked about that before. How yeah. do you have Christian Bale yeah. and you just waste him? Yeah, you know. Tell yeah, him, that man. was waste on so many levels because his look, for one, and then um, he was dope. I I thought he did a great job for what was given to him, mm-hmm. you know. But he, he, it was a waste. At the end of the day, it was a waste. Yeah, you know. Yeah, man. Um, people are talking about superhero fatigue. Yeah, I, I don't think that's what it is per se. Um, I think if you put out good superhero films, people are gonna like watch them and pay money. If you put out crap, yeah, this is what you get: no ticket sales and bad ratings. Yeah. <clears throat> and then another thing, I remember now what I was gonna say is, you you just touched on the Young Avengers. You touched mm-hmm. on Miss Marvel. Mm-hmm from the show like why are you why are you p- 
pushing characters and nobody gives a damn about. Mm-hmm. Why, like, why are you pushing these characters? Like, who cares about the Young Avengers? Yeah. Push that X Men. Let's yeah. see Doctor Doom. Yep. Why? Why don't they got Doctor Doom on on screen or, like yeah. already? Like, yeah. that's what we want to see, Mister Sinister. Yeah. Like, you know, th- cool characters. Like, how about give us like a proper apocalypse? Yeah. You know, yeah. no, we Miss Marvel. Uh, um. Uh, Young Avengers. Who yeah. cares about Ironheart? Yeah. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? <clears throat> Ironheart was <coughs> complete garbage, too. Yeah, man. It was just... That... that yeah. That was terrible. bad. But speaking of... Um, I think we, we covered enough of Marvel's <laughs> yeah. freaking downfall. Yeah. But, Let's um, try to bring it up. Talking about... Um, I think her name is Ironheart, but in that realm, Iron Man... Yeah. What do you think about Robert Downey coming back? Are are you give him the money? Give but, him what he's asking for. But would you want to see them like undo what they did, like bring him back from the dead, or or do you think him coming back takes away from the ending? Or I don't think so. Okay, I don't think so because didn't um, Joe Rogan? Didn't he himself ask um, Downey to come back mm-hmm. and his podcast? And he was like, yeah, he was just come, come back, you know, save Marvel from these crappy movies. Like even, you know what I mean? And then like, I think it's just Downey just is probably just tired of the role. Mm-hmm. And he thinks that he's cheating him. But you know what impact if he if he did come back, mm-hmm. people would lose their minds. I mean, look at. You know, Mr. Wolverine himself. Oh, yeah. He came back and it's like, bro, it. you know what I mean? Wolverine's like, back. Everyone's losing their shit. And, you know, and I I know that there's something we're going to touch on. But, mm-hmm. yeah, come back. I mean, as far as how they play it, Marvel has so many different storylines. Mm-hmm. They couldn't. They couldn't like make it where it happened, but it didn't. You know yeah, what I mean? It could like, be like a like another variant. Yeah, like a multiverse yeah. or something like that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, I, to me, Robert Downey Jr. has always been Marvel. I feel yeah. like he's the best character. Yep. Um, I, I I love the guy. Like you know, as an actor, I love his story. Like his mm. comeback and and life. Like his you know, uh, on a personal side, like his yeah. life from being a drug addict and yeah. Um, but yeah, I think he's the he's my favorite man mm-hmm. from Marvel Iron Man. You know, so I think him coming back would be like freaking a big deal. Um, do I think it'll take away from his death? Um, I mean, it was it was like the perfect wrap up. I see yeah, that yeah, it was yeah. the per- you can't really like wrap it up like that for him again. But why do you have to? You yeah. could just you don't have to have him die. Yeah, you could just yeah, have him yeah. do what he does in a movie yeah. and go on being Iron Man yeah. and just don't have him like come back for the next yeah. movie. But he don't have to die. Um, as Stallone said it, said it the best, and I saw his his document, you know, his documentary, and he said it the best. He said, "Why does the hero have to die?" Mm-hmm. You know, because I think he was talking about Rambo, mm-hmm. and one of the the way it was written, Rambo was supposed to die, mm-hmm. and he he almost quit because he didn't want because he's the hero. Why does he have to die? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, and if you notice, he doesn't die that that much in his movies mm-hmm, mm-hmm. almost hardly he does I don't think does. I've ever seen yeah. him die so, like in you, a movie and I respect that because mm-hmm. it's true who then if your hero dies what kind of you gotta of, die in Expendables they, though bro it's gotta stop <laughs> you, you, it's gotta stop you, you are either old age kid. yeah something's I, gotta come I, I agree with you 100% it's over. it should have been left alone <laughs> too to be honest with you mm-hmm. The, the first one, it was a cool concept. Yeah, Get yeah, the OG legends. Yeah, yep. You know, and, and like if they would have kept doing that because they they were bringing in more people, so like yeah. you brought in Van Dam. That's yeah. cool, you yeah. know. But now, like, okay, like you, so you go from like OG legends to yeah. now you just cheaping out. Now you got Fifty yeah. Cent. Who cares? You got Fifty Cent, Megan, Megan Fox. Okay, like yeah. who the f- you know what I who, mean? Who cares? Like, Let let's get our eighties, yeah, or even nineties, like yep. OG, you know, yeah. uh, like legends, yeah. you know, rotate. What about Jackie Chan? You know what I mean? Jackie Jet Chan. Lee. You know what I mean? Get, um, oh, Jet Li was in it. Right? He was. He yeah, was. Yeah. He was in my, the, my bad, Jet Li. <laughs> he was in the earlier ones. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of people that could pull from. Yeah. Uh, you know, older movies yeah. they could pull from and uh. 
it just is the new one did it come out it's coming out right it's already out it's already in in really? 4k blu-ray it's already it, out oh, you could it get went, it it went through his run yeah it's already out, out yeah, like it, streaming and yeah and it, it was bad it did really bad oh my it did God. really bad what a shocker yeah what a shocker but yeah well getting back he should i don't know i never i didn't even waste my time with with part four but yeah Joker, remember? Oh, Joker. He was like, with the paper, he was like, up, uh, <laughs> uh. Um, yeah, dude, Expendables 4, 4, right? Yep. That's probably like a hard pass for me. Yeah, I think yeah. I'm good, dude. Yeah. I'm good. Um, all right, so Robert Downey, you're down with him yep. coming back. Yeah. I'm definitely For down. selfish reasons, <clears throat> even though I think his wrap-up was awesome, I wouldn't mind him back. I wouldn't mind him back. Me neither. <clears throat> Same page there. All right, so last topic... Deadpool 3, what do you think from what you see? I think it's going to be awesome. Mm-hmm. Only because um, Wolverine is back, mm-hmm. first of all. I think that um, there's a lot of rumors of, of a whole bunch of other people making cameos. But I think they just like to, to, to mess around and add to the story. But I think that when I when I heard that Wolverine was coming back, I felt that... Um, End game feeling again. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? That excitement, that like, oh, I can't wait to see how he looks, what they do with him. Mm-hmm. And Hugh Jackman is hitting the gym pretty damn hard. Yeah, like, he's, he's getting jacked he, again. He is not, he doesn't play around for for that role. And that's exciting and it's respectful. And mm-hmm. he, you know, that's why he's Wolverine. Yeah. That's it. Yeah, dude, the... um. The trailer, uh, or what I've seen, because I don't even think they have a trailer yet. Um, the the photos that they release, like it looks, it looks awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, super happy to see Jackman back. Um, he, I think the blue and yellow suit looks yeah, super cool. That's OG. Yeah. Um, I haven't seen the mask yet. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen anything like no. leaked or whatever, but I haven't seen the official like mm-hmm. blue and yellow mask. Um, hopefully it looks cool like on camera, but uh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's cool, man. I mean, I like Deadpool 1. Mm-hmm. I like Deadpool 2. I'm going to actually watch those tonight. Um, but uh, I, I think it's probably going to be fun. I like mm-hmm. Deadpool 1, I think, more than the second one. Yeah, yeah. I me think too. so. Me I too. think. Yeah, because it, uh, it was, you know, the first... And uh, it was just raw, man. It was mm-hmm. it was just raw. Yeah. Yeah. What was it? He was. It was a maximum effort or something yeah. like that yep. on the highway, and that's like his his thing. It's yeah. like that's like his berserker rage, basically. Yep. <clears throat> but um, Ed Scrine, the villain from the first one, Ajax, yeah. he was super cool. Yeah. I love that dude. Yep. He's he reminds me of like Tom Hardy. Mm. Uh, he got that Tom Hardy energy. But yeah. um, Dead- I was hate, I was hating on him because he did that. Transform, uh, transporter, transporter reloaded or some shit yeah. like that. He took over for Statham. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know he's not Statham. Yeah, you know, no, no, he's not. No, nah. he's not. But Statham <clears throat> is Statham even Statham anymore? <laughs> yeah, he's not. Man, he's yeah. just he's just doing paycheck movies. Yeah, that's yeah. what it seems like. But with Deadpool three, with all the cameos and stuff, um. I don't know, man. They may go all freaking out because Marvel, Disney, they got the rights of so many characters now. And um, maybe they do like go crazy and just put a bunch of freaking characters in there. Mm -hmm. You know, I was reading rumors of like Sabretooth from the Uh, first X-Men, you know. Yeah, um, I saw that too. A lot of crazy stuff. So, yeah, I mean, I can't wait for the first official trailer. Um I would say I'm going to see it in the theater. Mm. How do you feel? You going to go for sure? Hell yeah. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Do you think that's the last one? The last Deadpool 3? Um no, I th- um I'm he I think he may go into like cameos after that. He may show uh, show up in like the Secret Wars or something like that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Even though was he a part of the Secret Wars? I'm not even sure, man. Yeah. I'm not even oh. sure. Um, I know Spider Man and Wolverine. Uh, I think they were a big part of it. Mm-hmm. So <clears throat> they do Tom Holland and um, Hugh Jackman together. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <clears throat> but oh, you what? Did, uh, did you hear about the dude from The Boys being a, a, a Wolverine um, variant in the movie? Did you hear? Uh, oh, Carl Urban. Yeah, yeah, I saw. I saw. Yeah, that would be that, fun. Yeah, that would be pretty cool. Yeah, that guy's the man. Yeah. I was, you know. 
I don't know what he would play in Marvel. You know, he'll be a sick Mr. Sinister. Yeah. You yeah. know, Mr. Sinister. Um, but Carl Urban's the man. I yeah, mean, he's got a great track record. Yeah. He'll be a great addition to the MCU. I don't know who he would play, but I, mm. I think, like I said, I think Mr. Sinister would be good for him. Yeah. Um, but uh, yeah, Deadpool 3, I think I'm in. I'm um, excited for it. So, uh, yeah. Yep. But... um. That's going to wrap up our topics. Yeah. Um, I got nothing else to add. You got anything, Go? No, it uh, feels good to be back. <laughs> yes, yes. Yep. Um, until the next uh, joint podcast, you know, mm-hmm. whenever that'll be, uh, yeah. we'll have some fun topics. Yeah. Thanks for listening and watching, guys, and uh, we'll catch you all in the next one.